All right, here off the Dome Media Group. We're ending this airspace series with Class G or Golf Airspace. You know, I've often thought of becoming a golf club. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? We finally made it to Class G or Golf Airspace. I knew you could do it. Now Class G Airspace is not control airspace and does not require prior approval or authorization. The cool part about Class G airspace is that a large percentage of airspace 400 feet and below is in fact Class G airspace unless designated another type of airspace. What a pisser. Let's take a look at our graph. As you see, there's plenty of Class G airspace for us to fly. However, as always, you need to be aware of your location as it relates to state and local drone ordinances. Oh my god, the automatic pilot, it's deflating! I did a video a while back on local ordinances. Uh, you may want to check it out if you haven't seen it. I'll put the link in the description below. One last point to remember. Even if you know you're in Class G airspace, but you're within five miles of an airport, you will have to call the tower for authorization before you leave the ground if you are not a commercial pilot. Land too fast, use your emergency brakes. Red handles right in front of you. Of course, it's highly recommended that recreational pilots use the FAA before you fly out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Okay, this is the end of our series on airspace. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to learn all there is to know about the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate, check out remotepilot101.com. Link is in the description below. As always, remember to like, comment, share, and follow. And more importantly, fly safe. Peace.